Hello, everybody. Welcome back to The Chirping Bird. I'm your very admir admirable host, Tao. And today we have a very special guest named Andre the Greatest. <laughs> um, no, it's Andre. He's my boyfriend. We've been dating for a year and a half now. So, you know, basically married. <laughs> Hi. Um, okay, well, um, yeah, this is the Chirping Bird. So, I wanted to do, we'll do a few, few things. So, first is give yourself like a minute or two minute introduction to like who you are what you do everything and then uh we'll play some hot seat okay sounds good <laughs> okay <laughs> go give yourself your introduction um my name's andre uh i am tal's boyfriend uh i live in london at the moment um i am a plumber I play a lot of hockey. I golf a lot. <laughs> like, a lot. Like Yeah, he golfs, like, four times <laughs> a week. This summer has been a lot. This Last summer, summer, you didn't do it that much. Last summer, this... I maybe golfed about six times, total. if that. <laughs> <laughs> this year, I may have golfed a total of, like, 50. Maybe close to... 80. I, I don't, it I was, wouldn't go that far, but it was a I, lot. I, you're, you're golfing like three times a week and then, you know, sometimes you'll do extra four times. Just depends. 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 Depends, depends on the weather. No, it doesn't depend on the weather. I will golf in a lightning storm. I have, and I will do it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, playing with a metal rod in a lightning storm is probably not the safest thing to do you, you only live once right as a young kids say okay he likes to um pride himself off of being a year older than me <clears throat> not even a year eight months well i was bo born in the 1900s okay so <laughs> okay all right well i have some hot seat questions for you are you excited for hot seat Pretty excited, yeah. Do you know what hot seat is? Uh, you ask me a bunch of questions. And? I have to answer them almost right away. Yeah. Did you listen to my other two podcasts I that tried. I did? <laughs> what do you mean you tried? <laughs> Either you did or you I don't didn't. Have time for you only post them on YouTube. I know. I'm working on getting them on Spotify, so hopefully they'll be available soon. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if I can get that working in the next week or two. But. That's very disappointing that you didn't listen to my podcast episodes. You missed out some juicy details. Basically, I was shitting on you in the one with Serena. Did you no, I, no, I wasn't. Oh, was that, the, that, was, was that your first one? Yeah, that was my first one. The uh, something about bad boyfriends. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I am going to ask you, we'll do three hot seat questions for today. Only three? Only three, and then and then we can just like chit chat and talk. Okay, what is something <laughs> that is missing in your life? Go. Oh. <laughs> A pet. A pet. That's yeah. something that's missing in your life. Yeah. Okay, and ideal pet. I mean, I know, but... A dog. <laughs> the listeners I, don't I know. mean... You mean a cat? I'll, Excuse I'll, me? I would love a cat or a dog. <laughs> I've transformed and transformed him into a cat person. Yeah, about a year ago, I wouldn't even touch a cat. Yeah, and I have a kitty cat, and uh, now he loves to, like, I hold him like a baby. And play with him and pet him. Yeah. Okay, so the next question. Now, I kind, I kind of really like this question for you because you always talk about how excited you are for the future and how ready you are to, I guess, like grow up and have your own business and you're really excited for the future. But your biggest worry for the future? Um, failure. 
Failure in what? Failure in not uh, going through with my plan. So having a different plan later on. Yeah, but I mean, that's not bad. Everyone changes their life plan. Like people change their careers. I, I think failure, I mean by failure, I mean by um not going through with the plan uh for not being confident in it not believing in it so yeah not believing in it so like not believing that it's in it 100 percent. yeah yeah not thinking it will take off like well, i should but that's not what you're afraid of for oh, later I'm, yeah you're I'm, afraid I'm, I'm of afraid that i'll change because right now i'm i want to open up my own business in the future and you're confident about oh, it now but you're confident. afraid like I'm afraid. later down the road you're not going to be confident in that thought yeah why i don't know things change right i guess i guess because you're so dependent on everybody around you for well, I, I don't jobs know jobs and I don't what know the economy is going to look like. Well, and... exactly. I don't know what kind of job I'll have in ten yeah. years before I think of going yeah, on my own. Yeah, I guess own. I could see how that that's something right. That I could have of. the best job ever, minus being on my own, right? And I could be making more than enough money, and and then I'll just be like, well, why would I spend so much money to start at the bottom again? right yeah i could see that. i don't know if, if i get to a point where i'm already making enough to be happy more than enough to be happy because it happens you get there i don't know i think i might change my decision yeah well i mean that's always the part of the future too everything True. changes and things change for a reason it's so a risk and it's a risk and you know everything happens for a reason so well, exactly maybe something will happen and at the moment you may not think that it's I guess the best thing, but you never know. You never know. It may turn out to be something really good. Actually, oh my gosh, this fits in perfectly for what I wrote down. I was listening to another podcast this week, and um, it's the I Love You So Much podcast by Kenzie Elizabeth. Basically, she was saying that if you were to take a whiteboard and draw a tiny black dot in the middle of the blackboard or whiteboard not blackboard Mm -hmm. in the middle of the whiteboard and you were to get someone to look at it what would they see the black dot right black dot yeah but you're not looking at the entire whiteboard around it all of your issues everything that happens to you is so small comparatively to everything that's going on in life right so it's just like you know down the road and something doesn't go exactly to the way you plan it that's your black dot right your, your, that black dot is so minuscule compared to everything else in your entire life and everything else in the entire world. Got that from this podcast? Yeah. Wow. I'm telling you, I'm like a whole new woman. <laughs> what? I am. Still picky. I'm not picky. Okay. I am not a picky eater. Not picky eater. What am I picky about then? Uh, what to wear, what to do. Okay, but I feel like those are just <gasps> common things. Like, that's not being picky. I wake up. Uh, when I, I put on my work stuff, that's fine. When I come home, I shower. I uh, get into whatever I want. I throw things on. I don't okay, overthink so it. do I. So do no, I. But if I'm I'll going call, out. I'll get a call after work and go, I don't know what to wear. Andre, help me. I'm like, where are you going? I'm going for a walk. I'm like, <laughs> what do you mean you don't know what to wear? Okay, but it's a difficult situation. Sometimes it's cold. Sometimes it's hot. I don't know if it's a pants situation. I don't know if it's a short situation. I don't know if it's a crop top situation. You know, that's a simple answer for that one is. What? Walk outside. I do. And I don't know if I'm going to get hot while I'm walking. Okay. That's an actual... It's a thing. It's a thing. Okay. And I think... So the last hot seat question is... Hmm. Your highs and lows for the week. And I'll answer this one too. Um... What was my high? 
How's your like anything good yeah, that I happened know. this week? I know. I'm trying well, to that's sad. You don't have any highs? I can't even think of any lows. I think my my high would be going treetop trekking with you and your family. Yeah, yesterday we went. That was really fun. Yeah, we went to um, Port Hope to go treetop trekking, and it was yeah. like this giant zipline area inside of the forest. It was actually pretty cool. So yeah, that was a high. That was a high for me too. Pick another high. If you don't have another high, that's a little a little concerning. I played hockey on Tuesday. There we go. For the third time this summer <laughs> since COVID hit. You know, pretty big milestone if I don't say that myself. <laughs> um. Okay, now pick a low. <laughs> His face right now. I, see, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. What I do every day, what happens that day? It's a constant play. low. <laughs> it, uh, I forget about it the very next day. It's like when I call you after work and go, oh, what do you do today? I go, uh, I don't know. And you're like, yeah. how do you not know? I'm like, well, when I'm off work, I clear my whole head. Okay, but like the bad, like the lows would stick with you. Oh, the, the biggest low of this week Yeah, is my wisdom tooth. There we go. There's a, I there's am in a low. so much pain. <laughs> getting constantly woken up in the middle of the night in pain and going, oh, no, no, no I'll, I'll tough this one out. No. You know what happens two minutes later? Advil. <laughs> he woke up crying last night. And he's like, my mouth, it hurts so much. Well, not crying. I was in pain. Well, you were almost crying. Yeah, it was so it was, it was sore. I know, I know. Um, Yeah, his wisdom tooth's coming in, so that's kind of painful, but... Surgically remove my jaw. No! Oh my gosh, he Googled. I could have what? cancer. Oh my god. <laughs> Everybody Googled. listening, don't Google any <laughs> like injury. Symptoms. Like, no. You'll find the worst thing and you just go, huh, I could be dying. Yeah. No, okay, so when I started losing my hair about yeah, that... a year ago, oh uh, no, like two years ago, I, oh no, I guess it was a year ago because we were dating. And I was like, I definitely have, like, a messed up thyroid, and this is why my hair is all falling out. I, I remember this. Oh, my gosh. And I thought I was going to actually die because my thyroid was all out of whack, and this is why my hair was falling out, and, like, all this stuff. Um, no, it just turns out I was depressed and had a lot of anxiety. And it doesn't help that we bleached your hair. <laughs> yeah, and I bleached my hair. And, and disclosure, uh... I was told to bleach your hair. I wasn't given an option. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He did He did bleach my hair with uh, box bleach. Um, turned out... It's like slim shady blonde. like the Slim shady, but then it turned orange. No, it was more yellow. Yeah, like a the, hay when, yellow. When you dyed your hair first, it turned orange. And then... Uh, we tried fixing it by bleaching it, and then you went a l nice little yellowish orange. Yeah, and then and I then, had to get my hair actually fixed, and I sat and in a salon for six went, hours. <laughs> your hair just went thin. Yeah. Not, it's growing back, though. No, it is. Your hair is very nice now. Well, thanks. It's a slow process. I still have bangs from when I cut my hair yeah. that one night. When I told you not to, I'm like, you're going to regret it. You <laughs> cut it, and you go... I Why did I do it. this? <laughs> yeah. Well, I was trying to even it out. Uh, speaking of haircuts, I gave Andre the bestest haircut in the entire world today. She made me go bald. I did I can not. look bald. With the hat. Yes, you can. Yeah. You can look bald if you I wear a hat. I make myself look very bald. Maybe I'll I... post a picture on the uh, Chirping Bird Instagram page. Of me looking bald? Of you just with your new haircut. Oh, I'll have to do it up. It's not done up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Well, we can we can figure that out. We can get it all done up and then take a picture of it tomorrow, and and then I'll post it. Yeah. That'll be like the first uh, post of actual post on the Tripping Bird. The other stuff's just been kind of like. I'm honored. Oh, I still have to post the. Yeah, you got to promote my um hey, 
I posted for you, and you're like, take that down. I wasn't I'm not ready. ready. <laughs> Like, I appreciate you you doing that, but you got to take it down now. I was like... I wasn't okay. ready. I was not ready. Uh, yeah, for I those very views, fast. Yeah, you did. Yeah, it was you like a me matter in... of seconds. Yeah, so I, I posted like, it. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, no, for those of you who are not following already, go follow me at the.chirpingbird on Instagram. I am posting my blog, podcast, and blog and podcast content on there and then also if you guys haven't already follow my personal instagram at tal bird with an extra d at the end and then you can follow andre but chances are andre won't even accept your follow request you'll be one of the couple hundred <laughs> you just sit in his like request pretty inbox. much but if you want to follow me because i post maybe once Every, Every six, six months, <laughs> it is Andre underscore Lub L U B. No one go follow him. You're not gonna be accepted. <laughs> You'll be very impressed in my pictures. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. I post almost daily on mine. I'm posting something. Either I'm posting like an IGTV, a real story, or store stories every day. Stories every day, all day. I love the story feature on Instagram. Yeah, it's not bad. It's, no. I don't know, it's like the biggest, like, I'm sorry, okay, but s <sighs> Instagram is like the hierarchy of all social medias. I have always been an Instagram stan. I got it when I was in grade six, I think, and then I deleted it after a year because I was, I don't even know what I was doing. Like, I just was like, I don't know, I don't use it. Like, it's, no one else really had it because that's when it was brand new. Mm -hmm. And uh, no one else had it. So I'm like, hey, this is dumb. Like, I'm not going to have it anymore. And then Snapchat became a thing. And I didn't get that until I was in grade eight. That lasted for an all of, like, two years. Snapchat? Yeah. And then, like, I don't know. I, I'm not a fan of Snapchat. You know what Snapchat was initially made to do? Send money, wasn't it? No. It was like dating. So you send the other person a picture and then you would send another picture back. Oh. It was initially for that and it just turned into this like friendship app. What? That you would just add all your friends on. Oh. It wasn't initially for it. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, and then I think later on once it actually started getting big, Facebook bought it, I think. No, Facebook didn't buy Snapchat. Facebook has Instagram. No. And then yeah, that's why... Snapchat wasn't supposed to be where it was, huh. where it is today. Yeah, no, it's... I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of Snapchat. I feel like a lot of people our age don't even use it that much anymore. You'd be surprised. A lot of people, people do. <sighs> From yeah. all the Instagram pages, like Total Frat Move, like them when they post, I guess people having their funny pickup lines they always yeah. give them their snapchat because uh, nobody likes giving up their number yeah i don't know i just like well yeah i i feel like instagram has the exact same stuff like it has the story features mm -hmm. now it has the real thing which is literally tiktok i never had tiktok but honestly if like if it comes on instagram i'm totally for it and i've been all over the instagram reels lately um, basically because I refuse to download TikTok and I'm like, you know what? I can do this all on Instagram and so glad that Instagram has it now. But like they literally have every single app in one. The only thing they don't have, which I'm kind of glad is posting text. Like a, a text, like a cap, like a bubble or something of just words. You know, how on Facebook, you can just like type up a message and post it. That's the only thing oh, that like, Instagram doesn't like have. Twitter. Yeah, like Twitter, basically. Well, I mean, you could. You just put, like, the a but picture be, with writing. But it would be a picture, right? That's true. So it's not, like, an actual a text box. There is the caption spot. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, like, I guess the point is to post a picture. So, yeah, no, I think, I don't know. I think just Instagram is the hierarchy of all social media. Um and for it, now. Yeah, but you know what? That's what people said. And then, you know, when Snapchat became a thing, and then everyone was, like, all over the Snapchat thing, the grind, Snapchat grind, 
or um, Twitter. You know Vine. Vine was huge. Vine was huge, but Vi- yeah, but you know everything from Vine went to YouTube. Yeah. That's or Instagram. That's happening. That's, or Instagram. Well, both. The, the what's happening with. Um, TikTok. TikTok is they're all moving to Instagram and YouTube. Yeah, and you you know like those are the uh, I guess the apps and the web pages that are gonna stick around for the the long run, right? Like those are the long term social medias, the ones that were created first. Like Facebook, Facebook's never gonna go away. Listen, I know people hate Facebook. Okay. But it's it's the, very nice. It's I love the best I, like marketplace. I love Facebook. I'm on Facebook every day. Yeah. I follow all the like news pages. It's it's like a news. It's like the the new age newspaper. Yeah. I get all my news from Facebook. Well, yeah, that. And I don't have time to sit down two hours before work, have a coffee, coffee, and read newspaper. the newspaper. See, I'm so mad because like I would love to have lived in the time where the only way you're getting your news is if you sit down with a cup of coffee and you're reading the newspaper before you go to work. Yeah, like, but that's those, the only way to... those times were where you could have a six-person family, you could have a husband, a wife, four kids. Okay? <laughs> four kids. Right? But the wife could be a stay- stay-at-home mom, the four kids don't work, and the dad makes enough to own a house, to feed the whole family, and go on vacations. Yeah. Now it's entirely different. You could have two, like, you have the mom and dad working. Yeah, because, you know, price, I- inflation, right? Price of living's gone up. And, well, and, and it costs more to buy a house, costs more to feed your kids, costs more for everything. Literally the cost of living, right? Yeah, but the only thing that hasn't gone up is wage. Yes, it has. Not much. Compared to how much everything else has gone up? Yes, but wage has still gone up. You can't say that it hasn't. Anyways. Especially in Canada. Especially in Canada. Anyways. Like that's, that's Anyways, we're, we're that's a going right subject. off. Yeah, I know. Anyways, I've come to the point in my life where I'm like, why would I get up two hours early for work when I'm not getting paid for those extra two hours when I could wake up right before I need to leave okay, but and then have get... my coffee and look at the news when I'm at work, so I'm getting paid. It's the same for, for yeah, all the guys but, in the trades. Okay, but okay, listen. Say you're a surgeon, a brain surgeon, right? I'm a plumbing surgeon. Okay. I can make everything go downhill. I can make you go back to your throne. Okay. You like that say one? Say you're... No. Say you're... <laughs> Say you're a brain surgeon or like a trauma surgeon, right? Yeah. And you're you're running from patient to patient for literally eight hours. How are you going to have enough time to sit with your coffee and read the news on your phone? Like while you're busy operating on someone? Of course. It's called multitasking. Okay. Well, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I think that even if you're getting up two hours before work, yeah, of course you're not getting paid. No one's getting paid two hours. Like, if you get up two hours or five hours before work, you're still not going to get paid for it, right? It's the same as after work. After work, you could easily just go home and sleep, right? That's basically what you're saying. Great. Okay, but you like to play golf. So in those times when you're playing golf, you could sit there with a cup of coffee and read the news. I, I figured it out. I figured out what I would rather do than own my own business. What would it be? To play golf on work hours. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if I if I was allowed to go golfing on work hours and get paid to go golfing, that would be a dream job. Epic. That would be a dream job. Okay, well Do you have a soundboard? No. You should get a soundboard. Why? I'll get you a soundboard. A soundboard? Yeah, so you can add like sounds in the podcast. Oh, but I can do that, I can do that in editing. You can cut that sound and use it for podcast in the future uh, <laughs> okay okay sounds good yeah i'll save that uh that little, little like clip. clip of you saying that <laughs> that'll be good what is your opinion on are you just going in straight into some hot seat with me <laughs> yeah what is your opinion because well i know you obviously uh on toronto not even making the playoffs Okay, listen, I'm very upset about it. 
Um, you know what? I'm somehow I'm not even surprised though. I feel like whenever we are put into a situation that is a little bit of pressure, we fall through. We we do not hold up to the expectation. Um, you know, everyone expected Toronto to at least make it into first round. But, you know, it, there was pressure, right? It, it was like playoff setting, playoff format. It wasn't regular games, you know, against all the different teams. They probably were going into it with playoff mindset. And um, looking at the numbers and the facts, within the past, was it like 50 years, we haven't gotten past first round. Uh, no, I think it was in 2004. <laughs> Five, 2006, we got past the first round. Oh, we got into the second round? Yeah. Oh, okay. With, like, Dion and... I don't know. Oh, okay, well... I was well, a little Andre. I don't remember. That, that, that was then. that was Kessel era. No, 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 no. No, you know what I'm thinking of is... Fi- I was thinking Kenton was five when Phil Kessel was on the Leafs. Kenton wasn't born in 2000. I was thinking no. about my age. So, no, that would have been, like, 2009. Yeah, okay, well, I didn't know that, that they made it to second round in 2005. That's interesting. Um, yeah, well, I'm not surprised that the Leafs did not make it into uh, the playoffs this year just because of the whole setup, the whole format they had going on. Yeah, what's your opinion on it? My opinion is very is very mismatched. Uh, I've got some hard feelings on the Leafs. Uh, feelings. I, they really upset me. They let me down. No, it's 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 weird because being a Leafs fan has its ups and downs. We are unbelievable on paper, but when it comes to the ice, we have. Four guys that only one likes to produce in the playoffs. Two. We have two guys that their contracts are very good. Mm -hmm. And it is Matthews and Nylander. As much as people hate me to say Nylander, Nylander has a very good contract for $6.9 million. And he produces like he does. And he's such a strong uh, asset on the team. I think it was because the way he came in. Was it la- not last, not what, this past year, but last he, year, right? Like, it was all that controversy. Like, he wouldn't sign, he wouldn't sign. No. It, and he went half a season without signing, right? So then everyone turned on him and kind of started to hate him. So, and I feel like that's the only reason why people are like, oh, Nylander sucks, is because he was so difficult signing his contract. But, yeah, no, I agree. He's, like, one of the top leaf players when it comes to the playoffs so definitely agree um i think the the only well there's two guys i don't like as much as i love marner i'm a london boy london knights marner's been on the Knights since day one uh his contract is terrible i'm sorry for 10 million for him i don't like it Tavares, they signed too early they didn't need him at the time. Instead, they needed a defenseman with leadership, not a centerman with leadership. We had Matthews already. Yeah, we that's didn't need true. another We didn't star. need another star forward. No, we already had three. <laughs> yeah, that's like, true. We had three even before we even signed Tavares. <laughs> yeah. All right. They brought in Muzzin. Yeah, Muzzin's great and all, but Muzzin provides our grit and he does provide some skill but now we're going to be losing Tyson Berry we're going to be losing well you think think, we're losing Tyson Berry oh he's not going to sign we don't we can't like why why bother no he's going to be asking for eight million this year we can't afford an eight million dollar defense well we can just not Tyson Berry for eight million we can get a better defenseman yeah so. I don't know. I think they should have kept Nazem Kadri. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> they should have kept Nazem Kadri. Naz- 
Oh my gosh. Kadri uh, kind of kept the uh, team alive in the playoffs. Should have, would have been. Of, yeah, I know, but it was kind of like, it's kind of like your Brad Marchand on your team, right? Like, everyone hates him, but everyone loves him. Um, yeah. Well, he's like Brad Marchand. He's like uh, Tom Wilson. I love Tom Wilson. Tom Wilson is the dirty guy on Washington. Number 43. I love him. I hate playing against, like, I hate when Toronto plays against him because I'm like, oh, somebody's going to get their head curb stomped. <laughs> but I, I, I would love for him to be on Toronto. That's why I loved uh, when Matt Martin was on the team. He brought, he provided grit, right? They just Yeah, but no one has that anymore. Yeah, but you still need it. You still need it. Look I know. at Toronto. We're all, it's young speed, <laughs> and we can't win a Sissies. game because they get pushed around it's like we're grade nines it's like and taking, the grade 12s are bullying them yeah it's like taking kid from a candy er, kid from a candy candy from a kid wow i can't english it's literally like taking candy from a kid um you know the kid's so cute and cuddly and you know says all the most perfect things in the entire world but you can just snatch that right out of their hands yes ma'am well, I'm glad that you, you lay it all out there with your hatred towards Marner. Um, no, it's not hatred. I, <laughs> I, I love him. Like, I love him. Yeah, that's just... From, from the night. Yeah. It's just... It's just mixed feelings. <laughs> it's a mixed relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, I think that's uh, going to be enough for our podcast episode today because Andre's in the middle of a NHL, no, NFL. NFL. NFL draft right now. Um, He's got to plan out his team or something. So I will wrap it up. Somebody oh. stole uh, okay. a pick that I really wanted, okay. and I'm mad. Okay. Um. Well, that is uh the end of this podcast episode make sure that if you guys liked it subscribe and like it heart it wherever you're finding it um whether that's on youtube spotify um any of your streaming platforms <laughs> but i really hope that you guys have a great day whenever you're wa- uh, watching i always say this whenever you're listening to this and i'll talk to you guys soon bye <laughs>